and welcome to Bubble Pop Kids. Today we have such a fun video, a really fun craft. We are gonna be making putty slime. And this one is probably my most requested video to do because we're gonna be making MLP Applejack putty. Look at this cute little Applejack. And if you guys wanna make this at home, here is a list of all the things you'll need. We'll go step by step. And please, before you do this, just make sure you have your parents or an adult supervising everything you do. So the first thing is a mixing bowl and a little mixing spoon. You're gonna need half a cup of warm water and a teaspoon of some borax laundry detergent. You can buy this at Target or any store where they sell laundry detergent or liquid. Some glitter glue. I'm using Elmer's and this is such an amazing color. Kinda reminds me of Applejack. It's an orangey red with all of this glitter and some tinsel in there. Some glittery sparkle confetti hearts to make it dazzle a little bit. Some glitter, I'm going with the Applejack colors, kind of like a light green, yellow, and oranges. Just a regular mason jar, any size. This size would probably be perfect to fit the putty. And this one is glass, but you can use plastic as well. Some Whipplecraft icing to decorate the top of the jar. This is kind of like I can't describe it, it's kind of like a glue, but it looks just like cake frosting. It's really and last pretty. Last but not least, the star of the show, Applejack. I made Rainbow Dash Putty and Fluttershy, and now it's this cutie's turn. Boop. And stay tuned to the end of the show because we have two really cute things to open. I have a Gem Lens Charm Bracelet Kit. Look how cute those are, they're like little gems. We can put them on a bracelet. And also a Yo-Yo Lip Gloss, cute little owly. Now moving right along, let's go to step one. Let's take your mixing bowl and take your Elmer's glitter glue. I'm going with this really bright orange reddish color and dump the whole entire bottle into the mixing bowl. If you can't squeeze all of it out, all you have to do is put a little bit of warm water, shake it up, loosen it in there and pour the rest. There we go. There's all of our lovely glue. Kind of looks like it's got Christmas tinsel in there, really bright. So the next step, I'm gonna take these little confetti hearts and pour some of them into the glue. Here they are, super sparkly, and I'm gonna just pour them in. Woo! Now I'll just take my mixing spatula and work that in. Try to make it evenly spread out. Ooh, that's so pretty. Kind of looks like Funfetti, I don't know. Really, really cute. This is gonna look super. So now that all of those hearts are mixed through there, I'm just gonna add a little teeny drop of water to loosen the glue up just so I can mix it a little better. So I've set that bowl off to the side and I'm gonna make my borax mixture. I have half a cup of warm water and I'm gonna take a half a teaspoon of the borax and mix it in there until it dissolves. Oop, a little heart got in there, that's okay. I'm gonna pour half of that borax and water mixture into my putty and start mixing. Sorry, into the glue. <laughs> We're about to make the putty. And if you notice instantly, it's starting to form into this flubber-like thing. Look how sparkly that is. And if you want, you could take out the spatula and get on in there with your hands and squish it up, ooh. And I love how those hearts are all stuck in there. They're not falling out, they are right there in the glue mixture. Boop. Alrighty guys, so I've been mixing this around for, for about five minutes and here is our putty. It's not exactly slime, it's more putty-like and I even think it's like bouncy, so cool. Look how this stretches, and you can see those little hearts in there, all the little sparkles. So, so pretty, probably the prettiest putty I've ever made or seen. And when you roll this one up, it's kind of like a bouncy ball. It is so, so cool, look at that. Now 
now that I played with this putty a little bit, I'm gonna package it up in this little mason jar here. Squeeze it on in there. Ah! There it is, and it's so good that this jar is clear so you can see all the glitter through there. Pop the top on and start decorating. Here's my whipple frosting, and I'm just gonna pipe it on top of the lid and try to make it look like ice cream or a cupcake. Here's how yummy does that look. It looks just like Froyo. <laughs> so now, let's just stick Applejack right on the top. And once this frosting hardens, it's gonna be just like super glue. And here are some little decorations I'm gonna stick onto the frosting. Look, we have a little popsicle and an orange sliced kiwi. Unfortunately, I don't have any apples, but that's okay. Sprinkle on some orange, yellow, and green glitter. Ooh, looks just like orange sprinkles. Final product, look how cute Applejack is with all those little decorations, little kiwi. This is like a bag of candy, the orange, love it. And to dazzle this up a little bit more, I'm gonna put some gem stickers around the lid. of pink and blue gem just makes it look a little bit nicer really like that another great thing about this jar is once your putty's all dried out it's reusable you can keep your little lip balms you can keep paper clips use it as a desk organizer there's so many fun uses for and it now time for the surprises let's start with this yo-yo lip balm look at this owl it's got some fuzzy hair and these are called animal friends you pull down to retract it's got kind of a clip on here. You could clip it to anything you like. Maybe your jean pocket. Really, really cool. And I'm dying to know what the flavor is. Ooh, it's great. Let's Ooh, fresh it. out of the package. Here this is. This little owl is actually huge. <laughs> this clip is huge too. You can just clip this to anything. And here is the lip gloss. I've had these before. These smell so, so good. And they're so thick and sparkly. Ooh, how does it open? Got it, here it is. See? Ooh, look at that color. <laughs> it's like an electric purple. It's got so much shimmer, kind of like a pearly shine to it. Mm, and it smells so, so good. It smells just like grapes, grape soda. These really are good quality lip glosses. I love them, I use them all the time. It's not just a great lip gloss, it's so much fun to play with too. You can just pull this all day. Whoop. Love that. Next up, we have the Gemlin Series 2. I've never seen these before and I saw it at Toys R Us, I just had to get it. Now, there's so many different colors and shapes. There's an aquamarine family, ruby family, sapphire, amethyst, citrine, <laughs> I guess it's orange, and emerald. And there's one hidden Gemlin and three here. Let's see. Oh, and here is the hidden one. This is the cutest. Look at that blue one. It's got a little face. Kind of reminds me of a Shopkin. <laughs> I'm not sure why. It's got a little string and some beads. What is all of this? 
These are super cute because each one of these little gems actually has its own name. The green one here kind of looks like a little balloon. Goes by the name of Limey. Here's the mystery one from the Aquamarine family and its name is Bagui. <laughs> Bagui, B-A-G-U-E-Y. That's kind of strange. This is so cute. Kind of looks like an ice cube. From the Amethyst family. Oh, we got the heart. I wanted that one. Look how cute it is with the pink lips. Goes by the name of Lily. And the fourth one from the Citrine family is kind of looks like a little teardrop. This is a really beautiful color. Its name is Mandy. Here's the whole gang together. If you look closely at the little beads that come with this, they're so cute because they have little eyes and faces. Let's make this bracelet. Yes, our gentleman's bracelet. How cute would it be to have a bracelet like this but with real Shopkins on it? <laughs> that would be so, so cool. Jack Putty decorated this adorable jar. We got some lip gloss and our gem bracelet. So many cute things. And we're going to have so many more fun shows to come. This is Bubble Pop Kids. You can click this big red subscribe button here and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. Bye.